In the late 60s and early 70s, there was a phenomenal piece of engineering by Estes that was called the Cinerock. This is an example of it. It is the nose cone for a model rocket. It shoots super 8 millimeter film. This video is on how to process Cinerock film using a regular 500 millimeter processing canister. What I've done is I've created a uh, nesting film holder that fits inside the 500 millimeter canister. And all it is is a piece of soft plastic bottle that's been cut, bottom's been cut out of it, top's been cut off at a very precise length. And then this is another bottle that ha has had the bottom cut out, the top cut off, and this is styrene plastic that has been fitted on the top of, of the bottle using just some hot glue. This spreads apart a little bit and, and hinges at the bottom. So in order to load film, of course this would be done in total darkness. This bottle piece has a slot cut in it that's specifically designed to hold the film. You slide the end of the film into the slot, cut in it right there, and then making sure that that the film is emulsion side up, you just wrap it around the bottle. There are just small holes drilled in there and brass rods pushed through and these are slanted so that the film naturally wraps in a spiral. This rod is actually centered um, on on this slot so as you wrap it you get a nice spiral and the rods are situated so they're tight enough to hold the film but not so tight that they distort the plastic base when you get to the last slot for the film then you push it inside it's nicely in there and then you just continue to wrap the film around the outside of the second box. Insert this into the film canister and you are ready to process Cinerock film.